What's going on guys? So today, in light of the New York Toy Fair, here in the United States, LEGO has revealed the first of the brand new LEGO Harry Potter sets that are due out this August. Now before I get into the video, I would like to say if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe down below. I'll keep you up to date on LEGO leaks, reviews, and news as they come out. And because the New York Toy Fair is happening right now, that means there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out. So keep it tuned here if you want to stay updated. And let's jump right into it. So if you follow the channel, you know that I'm a huge LEGO Harry Potter fan. And it was one of my themes that I believe uh, in my top five LEGO themes that need to come back video. It, I, if I remember correctly, it was the top one. LEGO Harry Potter brings something unique to the table I don't think a lot of other themes do, and I think this set is phenomenal. Now let's take a look at it. It's set 75954 Hogwarts Great Hall. We're going to be clocking in at 878 pieces, 10 minifigures, and it's going to be retailing at about 100 US dollars. This is a big set, lots of minifigures, and it looks great. Now, it's not exactly what we were expecting, and it, there's a lot of things that took me by surprise. Let's take a look at the set first. Uh, we knew there was a Great Hall set coming, um, and the tower off to the side was never mentioned in any of the set descriptions. Uh, real quick, I want to clear the airways. The reported LEGO Harry Potter collectible minifig series is apparently still coming out. However, the figures that are reported on that uh, in that video are losing a lot of credibility that we've actually seen this set because the guy who leaked those, those figure descriptions leaked descriptions of the sets and they're not exactly matching up one to one with what we're seeing right here so I apologize if that information turns out to being not as true as I had once believed uh, but I'd say the first thing that a lot of people are going to notice about this set is that the roofs of Hogwarts Castle are a dark gray shade this time Every Hogwarts castle we've gotten in the past has been a sand green, which I have fallen in love with, and I absolutely I, I cannot get enough of the original Hogwarts castles. Seeing that this one is a gray definitely makes it look more like it does in the movies and how it's described in the books. However, is it going to match well with the other Harry Potter sets, Hogwarts castle sets that you have? No. And honestly, that's my biggest problem with the set, aside from a few little minifigure issues that we're going to jump into here in a sec. The back side of the set's actually got a fair amount of detail. Uh, the Great Hall isn't anything too, too special in my opinion. The one from 2010 had a Great Hall pretty similar to this one. Um, and then the tower off to the left of this picture also. I don't think the interior of the tower really is anything that special. Something that is worth mentioning though is the mirror in the top of the tower. And I'm guessing that's obviously going to be a sticker piece and a lot of, there's going to be a lot of stickers in this set is what it looks like, but the detail definitely is uh, present in this set specifically. Now we've got a lot, a lot of new molds that I want to talk about in this set. Since we're looking at a picture of the back side of the castle, let's look at some of these figures and some of these molds. Up in the top left hand side of the picture you'll see the sorting hat now that is a brand new mold and I really like the fact that it's got a face molded into it rather than printed on like we saw with the previous version of the Hogwarts castle now Dumbledore's got his kinda red robes on that we see in the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone some of you guys like to uh, from the UK like to call it that here in the United States it's the Sorcerer's Stone um, but that particular minifigure I really think is to emulate the Dumbledore from the Chamber of Secrets and Sorcerer's Stone movies because this whole set seems to be based around the earlier movies of the uh, Harry Potter franchise considering all the characters, all the kid characters at least, have short legs and much more um, childlike expressions on their face. So I'm interested to see how these characters change throughout whatever other sets that are coming out or um, if Dumbledore changes since there was an actor change after the Chamber of Secrets movie, we will have to see. I think the McGonagall figure looks great. Uh, not a lot of changes from the one that we saw in 2010. I particularly don't like the hairpiece on Ginny. Uh, I think the original hairpiece they had back in 2010 was perfect for her, uh, but we do have to keep in mind that this is a younger version of all the characters. And I think probably my biggest problem with this set, minifigure-wise, is Hagrid. I didn't think Hagrid needed anything done to him. He's got a brand new beard and hair mold and everything and a new body mold and it looks like just small little short kid legs attach into the bottom of the body. Um, I don't particularly like this. I don't think it looks too good because I personally like the one from 2010 a lot. Uh, I have it sitting on my shelf right here. I'm looking at it from my desk but it just it looks perfect 
This one I almost feel like is a bit of a stretch, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, the hairpiece looks good. I just thought the other one might have looked a little bit better. This one looks a bit more like the movie, but it looks a little less like Lego. Now, I could be 100% alone on a lot of these opinions, but let me know down in the comments. I like hearing a lot of the conversation you guys have uh, with me down in the comments as well. You can see on the Hogwarts Tower right here that there is a lot of stickers, but we can't really expect those kind of brick details to be printed on large pieces like that in a set like this. So I'm not too, too upset about this. Um, Hermione also has a new hairpiece, and Harry has a new hairpiece. Uh, it's definitely new that we're seeing these characters in like younger appearances. But it, like I said, it's not really something I am upset about. That being said, I love Harry Potter and I love Lego, so this is going to be a definite pickup for me. I haven't seen the other sets yet, uh, but so far this is looking like the Harry Potter line's going to... This little revival that they're doing is going to be really awesome. Uh, I hope it's not just like a one line and they're done thing. I hope this theme does stay around for a while because this is the third time Harry Potter has come back. Uh... So I'm really hoping that we get some really solid sets this time around and it keeps going for a little bit. That's about going to wrap the video up, guys. If you like the set, please let me know down in the comments. I really want to know what everyone's kind of consensus on this particular set is. It has its ups and it has its downs. I just want to know what everyone's really thinking. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed down below, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you updated on LEGO Leaks reviews and news. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.